It is the final day of early voting here in Georgia, and both sides are pulling out all of the stops and the biggest names. And the showstopper may have been Oprah Winfrey here campaigning for the Democrat Stacey Abrams. Her message? Vote. Nobody paid for me to come here. Nobody even asked me to come here. I paid for myself and I approved this message. This morning, one of television's biggest stars inserting herself into one of the country's tightest races. And he said, I have her cell number. I go, give it to me. I'm going to call her up right now. So I called Stacey Abrams and I said, Stacey, this is Oprah. You know what she said? She said, girl, let me pull over to the side of the road. Entertainment icon Oprah Winfrey delivering an impassioned get out the vote push at a pair of town hall events Thursday for Democrat Stacey Abrams, who's attempting to make history as the nation's first female African-American governor. Abrams is locked in a razor thin race against Republican Brian Kemp, with recent polls showing them virtually tied. Oprah's mission energize the audience. I know it's easy for a lot of people to feel that you have no power against those injustices, but this is what I'm here to tell you this land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. That's not just a song, that's the truth. Winfrey's presence here fueling 2020 speculation, which she quickly tried to tamp down. I don't want to run, okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to test any waters. The billionaire media mogul even knocking on doors. Hi, Oprah. And reminding supporters of a traumatic chapter in their history. For anybody here who has an ancestor who didn't have the right to vote, and you are choosing not to vote, you are dishonoring your family. The White House quickly working to slow the Oprah effect. Well, Oprah's good, but... Uh, the woman that she's supporting is not qualified to be the governor of Georgia by any stretch of the imagination. I'm kind of a big deal, too. I got a message for all uh, Stacey Abrams' liberal Hollywood friends. This ain't Hollywood. This is Georgia. What is the O effect? There is something transformative about having a woman who has so much capacity stand up and say that she cares about your voice. And one of the other uh, big issues down there, Kristen, are accusations of voter suppression going on in Georgia. What can you tell us about that? Well, Democrats are accusing Republicans and Brian Kemp, who's the state secretary of state, of voter suppression, trying to suppress specifically the votes of minority voters by imposing a stiff new law. Now, Kemp has fired back. He has vehemently denied that, saying nothing could be further from the truth. But Oprah addressed that as well, Hoda. She said if enough people turn out their votes cannot be suppressed. So it is a big issue here at the backdrop of this heated race in Georgia. By the way, Oprah's not going to be the last big name to stump here. Former President Obama will be here tonight for Stacey Abrams, and President Trump will be here on Sunday for Kemp. Hoda. All right, Kristen Welker, thank you so much. And be sure you stick around with NBC for complete coverage of the midterms. We're going to have the very latest on all of the key races leading up to Election Day with live coverage as the results come in. That's Tuesday night. Savannah will be there starting at 8, 7 central.